These are called loops. I'm going to start wearing them in some of these videos again so I can check out the quality of these cards at very high magnification. It's here, Pillars of Strength, set three, one piece card game, and it's time to strip them. I just got one box right now, we're gonna do a lot more strip them next week, it's just pre-release, so it's kinda hard to get this stuff to strip them for my videos. But before we get too deep into it, I'd like to have a word from our sponsors. Uh, Kaizoku Cards, if you haven't heard of Kaizoku Cards, they make really cool cards. It's me, I make all the cards. But uh, this is a Robin Dawn set that was recently released. The first uh, uh, 10 orders would receive an 11th Dawn, but these are the first 10 Dawns. You can see uh, all my different Dawn designs and all the different cards for Kaizoku Cards at kaizokucards.com. I'll leave a link in the description below. Make some pretty cool leaders that have uh, different foil variants. This is one of the exclusive limited serialized 10 foil variants of the strongest the cutest doctor in the world it comes in a case so you can take out the text to appreciate the card on its own and i'm also printing cards with the text right on them now and you can get those in limited series 20 sets so that's kaizoku cards please feel free to check them out and support uh me it's actually me it's totally me it's not a different sponsor it's just me doing my thing but here it is pillars of strength Let's strip them this box and see what we get in here. I mean, I think Usopp is the is the manga rare that is being looked for, but I want Katakuri stuff. I am definitely playing yellow. Yellow is nuts. I've been testing it in Japanese and it's been so fun. Um, thank you all, by the way, for coming to check out this video. If this is your first time here, I hope you enjoy the strip them tech that we got going on. I'm opening set four boxes for the next couple weeks. There's a video that comes out every Wednesday where I tell some story and open some set four box. But this is set three. And I didn't actually open that much of set three Japanese. I think it was like a case or two cases or something like that. I don't remember. But I'm so psyched to strip this stuff. Some of the, the, the alt art leaders, I gotta bless them, bless them a pack. Uh, are pretty hype, but there's just there's some really good looking shiny stuff. They just keep getting better and better at making these cards um, every time. Big Mom, yo, I need four of these. I need the cursed alt art. The art, alt art of this is so insanely cursed. I don't know if y'all have seen it, but it is like it's terrifying. It's really really scary stuff. Um, real actual legitimate nightmare fuel. I don't know what fuels your nightmares, but uh, that for sure will get that there. Just some rares. There's, there are, I think there is, uh, I think there are the regular number of alt art leaders in here, but they changed the shape of the cases. I saw a case. The cases are not the same shape that they were previously. So I don't, I don't know if these are mapped again, but we'll have to do some investigation. Oh, Charolit Prospero. Prospero, Perorin. This guy is sticky. This is a sticky dude. If you kill him, you get to search for a card and draw a card. That's fantastic. Yes, I need four of these. So that's great. Get my playset started. Perorin. Uh, that card's nasty. And also we gotta teach. This card's kind of nuts in Zoro. I was testing it. Cards kind of crazy, kind of crazy card. But yo, that Perorin is really good. I think actually, you know, I think we should really take a closer look at this Perorin. I don't know if you know this about me, but I am a dentist. Um, so I have these dental loops that allow me to see stuff pretty magnified. And this is nuts. This card is crazy. Whoa, wow. They really smashed it on this texture. The textures are very, very well done in this card game. They break the light really nicely on the surface of the card. And it really looks like, you know, like the momentum of the card is moving like out this way and the way that they got those lines to work, it just gives so much dynamic momentum going out this way. And they separated another clear texture layer in here. This looks, this looks really good. I would, I, I will rock this card. I will be playing this card in my deck. Nice to take a closer look at that. Shrip them. It's the shrip them lifestyle. You know, I don't know if you all practice the shrip them approach at opening cards. There's Ace. I'd love to get an Ace Alt Art Leader. I definitely want to play Ace. I think Ace is sweet. Also, Kaizo cards. There's a lot of uh, set three leaders over there. Got a bunch of Namis. Some a actually Ace might be sold out. I think there may be a new Ace coming. Oh, what's this? What's this? What's this? Oh yeah, there's our secret rare Katakuri. Shadowed Katakuri. This card is nuts. This card is nuts. You can either regen your life or like put a boss monster in your opponent's life. Like if they have eight cost kid, sorry, just put that in their life. And then when you hit that life, you know it doesn't have counter power. So you can really kind of 
control stuff. Katakuri is nuts. Katakuri is absolutely crazy, crazy deck. So if the ratios in this box are similar to the ratios that we've seen in boxes before, there should be one more alt art. There's our leader boy right there. There should be one more alt art. I love this. I love this rare. This one looks so good. Um, but yeah, there should be one more. Either there may be one more alt art in this box. It may just be one of the one alt art boxes, but since we've already seen a alt art and the secret rare, that means that's either gonna be it, and there's no more big hits in this pack, it's just gonna be like SRs and rares, or there may be one other alternate art. Um, but I'm not entirely sure. I don't know if things have changed. Oh, there's also that chase card. I think there's one per case, or there's one per case in Japanese. So. I feel like there will probably be two per case in English because most stuff is doubled, but there's like the reprints, the wanted reprint cards. I think those are in this set as well. That would be really cool to pull one of those, but I'm not sure exactly what the ratios are gonna be at. We'll find out next week. I'm definitely gonna be opening a lot more of this set and I'll be doing a case live opening. So definitely tune in to check out the live stream for the case opening. And then I'll also do a case video where I just break down a case and cracker, I need this man, Charlotte Cracker, what a menace. That card is nuts. You can play it out of your life if you just drop a card and it gets double attack if you're less life. Like swinging for eight with that dude on double attack is like a pretty scary and annoying thing to deal with. Um, eight's a really good number to swing with with him because it really forces them like they're gonna have to get rid of two cards. It's either gonna be two two Ks or they take two life. So eight with crackers nuts. And you only need two Dawn to get that because if he has the double attack, he's also getting plus 1000 power, which is like a lot. It's a lot to deal with. It's a lot, a lot, a lot to deal with. Yo, I would love to pull an altar leader would be so cool. But I don't, I don't know. I think like Ace and Nami are the ones I'm really going for. Ace, Nami, Katakuri would be really nice. This is pretty good looking. Pretty nice looking card. Um, Ace and Nami, I think are the two that I'm looking for the most. I definitely want to get Katakuri also. Katakuri looks fantastic. But the Katakuri Alt Secret Rare, that card is nutso. I definitely, definitely, definitely want to place out of those to rock. Actually, I don't know if you play four in the deck. I feel like two or three is like good enough because I think the big mom starter is also nice because if you see it on curve and you're at seven, like you can play that. Shimata. All right, just three packs left. Is there another hit in this box or is that it? Is that everything? Just some good yellow stuff, which is there's our regular Pero Spero, which I actually like this art a lot, even like compared to this one. I think this art's really good. So even if you're just rocking SRs, like it still looks pretty, pretty excellent. Um, this is it. Unless I put it in the Blossom, which I've been known to do. I've been known to put a good hit in the Blossom, but it could just be that this was just a two, bo two, two card box. And here it is, the Blossom the pack. Check it to strip them. This is a lifestyle. That's what it is. Is this, is this something good? Oh, we got our, mon our manga dong. That's it. So yeah, it looks like the ratios are gonna be similar in these boxes. You're either gonna get a box with two alt arts, a box with an alt art leader and an alt art, uh, and a secret rare, I think. Yeah, yeah, alt art leader and a secret rare, or uh, you could, I think there'll probably be boxes with two alt arts in them also. But we'll see more of that next week, so make sure to hit that subscription button, check out these shrippums, check out Kaizoku cards if you want some dope custom leaders to bling out for your, uh, for your deck, and I am a dentist. I can't end without a dental tooth tip. These are called loops. I'm gonna start wearing them in some of these videos again so I can check out the quality of these cards at very high magnification. It's really fun for me to look at, and uh, your dentist should probably be wearing loops so they can see your teeth better. So if you're going to a dentist that doesn't wear loops, I'd check yourself. Thank you. Thank you. Gozaimasu. Um, thanks for checking out the video, and I'll see y'all in the next one.